guys, Preston's here. I am just washing dishes. I'm uh, getting ready to make dinner, and I want to wash up the dishes that have accumulated here throughout the day. Get those cleaned up so that I'm starting off with a clean surface, so to speak. Um, my son right now is at the recruiters doing PT. For those of you who are maybe new to my channel, my son just recently began the process of joining the Army. And some of you had prayed for my son when he went to take his test because he was nervous and everything. He did fantastic. Um, we've come to the point where in less than a week from the time I'm filming this, he will be headed off for the Army. And I'm going to do my best to not bawl like a baby when he goes. I'm not a crier, but there are times where I have a difficult time keeping it together. I'm just saying. Even an ice queen melts once in a while. But uh, yeah, so it's going to be pretty exciting for him. Exciting for all of us, really. I think I think Jeff is going to be the most upset with him leaving. He's like, I'm going to miss my fishing buddy. You know. They went fishing uh, Saturday. Saturday? No, Sunday. They went fishing Sunday. Didn't really catch anything, but they enjoyed themselves anyways. So maybe they'll go fishing this weekend as well. We have a get together with some friends that we're going to go to on Saturday, but I don't think anything is going on Sunday, so maybe he'll go down there and go fishing with them. We shall see. But, yep, exciting, exciting things. So this morning I went to the animal shelter, did my weekly trip. Um, I don't have a set day that I go there. It really is based upon what day am I free and what day is the weather going to cooperate. We have weather that's supposed to be rolling in this evening. It's starting to look a little bit cloudy right now. But we're supposed to start getting rain tonight and it's supposed to last the rest of the week. Um, outskirts remnants of Harvey, I suppose. Hey guys, well I wanted to show you something that I think is pretty awesome, but I don't know if traffic is going to move. It looks like it's blocked. But right over there in that parking lot, here in downtown Hartzell where I live, there's a tractor trailer, there's multiple vehicles, trucks, just loaded down, truckloads of water and all sorts of supplies because the churches in my town, multiple churches, different denominations, have all gotten together and rallied the community to take truckloads of supplies to Texas and they're gonna to go to some of the smaller towns where there's not a lot of people there um, providing help yet. And I just think it's really awesome. I, makes me love my town even more, you know, because um, we're a small, small town, less than 20,000 people. And just cause you're a small town, just cause there's not a lot of you doesn't mean you can't make a difference, um, you know? you can pull together and that's what that's what my town's doing and it's especially poignant I guess simply because last year my daughter those of you who've been around here for a little bit last year when Matthew Hurricane Matthew rolled in in North Carolina my daughter is one of those people who lost everything her house was completely underwater and everything they owned uh, was gone and if it wasn't for complete strangers some of you subscribers and family to step up and help um, they had nothing because they thought they had flood insurance turns out it wasn't and so their insurance didn't help them and when they put in a claim with FEMA of course FEMA denied them when their house looked like this I mean it is what it is but they overcame they recovered and 
you know it so it means a lot when I see stuff like this happening because it does sort of have a personal connection to me I mean I have friends down there in Texas right now who have lost everything they got out there they evacuated and as far as they know everything's underwater so there's been a lot of negative things happening in our country lately and of course a hurricane is a disaster in a multiple in multiple ways but this brings out the best in people it really does and this is what America looks like just saying flour and stuff here. I've got some apples down here. I've got my iPad over there. I'm catching up on some Starry Hilder and other YouTube channels that I watch. I don't get much time to watch TV or anything like that around here, so I have to multitask. I watch videos while I'm doing other things. So we have a little fun going on today. We were invited over to a friend's house. You may remember a few months ago I officiated a wedding, and it is that couple who have invited us over. Uh, us and several others were having a bit of a get-together end of summer deal and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to swim in their pool because I'm fighting off an ear infection. That stinks because I do enjoy swimming. I mean I was the captain of the swim team in high school so swimming is, is my, <laughs> my thing but not today it seems. So I'm making my cake to take along and I also made my macaroni salad. Uh, this recipe for this cake will be on my website in the next couple of weeks. The macaroni salad is already on there. It's called Throw Together Macaroni Salad. It's like a super easy shortcut kind of pasta salad. But, uh, yep, yeah, so I'm going to get back to uh, baking the cake. Go. We're heading into the recruiters. It is the day. He's on the phone with his brother. <laughs>
goes.